And he's ninth in points right now, Nicole. And it seems like a lot of the garage these days are doing a lot with a little. Mike, how is Johnny Davis Racing doing that? You're ninth in points. Well, we are ninth in points, and a lot of it has to do with Johnny and Lori Davis and the whole race team. Is we don't have much sponsorship on board, but uh, we're very excited this weekend that you know we're putting things together at the last minute. And literally, uh, you're talking about a program that come together on th starting Thursday afternoon, and uh, we have a ca casino. Shall I talk? You bought a casino. Bought a casino. <laughs> yes. Shall I talk? Casino and resort, nice place we got here, right? But uh, we really appreciate them coming on board and putting things like that together. But the biggest thing really is that Johnny's a hardcore racer, always has been, and has taken parts and pieces that, uh, if you want to say, other people get rid of, dispose of, auction off, whatever, and it takes and turns them into a, a really good race car. And we've outraced a lot of people all year long. I'm not saying we outrun them, but we've outlasted them and, uh, you know, outfinished them. And it says a lot for the team and the effort that's being put forth and uh, having a great time doing it. Got to bust on Johnny just a little bit because when you guys were at Bristol, Mike laid down not a stellar qualifying lap. You immediately went to saying, I gave you a not so great car. He came right back at you and said, nobody blame themselves. We're building something here. Mike, what do you know about this race team that maybe Johnny was in doubt of at that moment? Well, you know, I'm, I'm honestly not used to ever driving for an owner or a team that they take the burden. Well, you know, if there's not a good qualifying lap, it's, well, you didn't do a good enough job or something like that. And Johnny's the first one to admit, it makes me feel really good that, look, I got all the faith in the world in you, but the end result is uh, maybe I didn't give you the best car or I didn't do something proper or, you know, when I use the word proper, meaning maybe miss something in air pressure. And like I say, we're, we're building together. We're overachieving right now in a, in a pretty big fashion. You know, you look out here, we're, we're sitting 10th in points right now, 9th in driver points, and uh, for our program, that's really good. So we're going to win together. We're going to crash together. We're going to qualify good together. We're going to qualify bad together. But uh, the nice part, he's got such great enthusiasm to it. And it makes me feel so comfortable. I come to the racetrack. We're locked in the race. I go out and do the best job I can. We work really hard on our race setup. And, uh, you know, that's what makes it good. And if I don't get a great lap, um, I'll tell him I screwed up or he'll say something and we'll just go, okay, and you're the man, you're the man. And so uh, we're going to do well. Right now, you know, uh, going back in Charlotte, my daughter Lindsay, though, is, is trying to make a million dollars for her. She's standing in line trying to become a contestant for Wheel of Fortune. Her and Carla are standing at Dale Jared Ford auditioning <laughs> for Wheel of Fortune. Can you believe that? So, But she's going to give you the money? Is that a done deal if she gets on there and wins? Well, I, I don't know. I guess she's got to get on and in and, and to the finals. I says, if you can play that game as good as you do at home, it's a home run. We're going to make it. Well, they've not gambled a lot here this this year. They've been a great early season story. And their parking spot here on Pitt Road is very solid right now for Johnny Davis Motorsports and driver Mike Wallace. Casino. <laughs> Rusty, I swear he might be a better salesman than you.